What's up, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to move games from one drive to another in your computer, whether that's from a hard drive to an SSD or back or anything like that. This video is sponsored by EasyUS and I'll be showing you EasyUS PC Transfer Later, a program that lets you transfer games and programs from drive to drive. But to start off this video, I'll be showing you the manual methods if you don't want to download anything. So how do we move games from one drive to another on Steam? Well, it's really simple. If the game's installed on the computer you're currently sitting at, simply open up Steam, find the game you'll want to be moving to another drive, right-click it, then click Properties, and inside of the Properties window under the Local Files tab, simply click Move Install Folder. Then you can choose another drive to move it to, and it's that simple. But let's say you're bringing it from an old computer. What do we do when we have only the game files to work with? Well, heading across to the old install location, which is more than likely C Program Files 86 Steam Steam Apps, followed by the game's name, we're inside of this folder here, and we have all of these game files. What can we do with this? Well, if this is an external drive over here, all we need to do is open up our local Steam install folder. You can right-click on any game, hover over Manage, and click Browse Local Files, or if you know where it is, you can navigate to it. For me, I know my local games are in C, Program Files 86, Steam, and then inside of here, Steam Apps. Then Common, and here's all of my games here. Or, well, apps. All we need to do is take the entire game folder, in this case, the Survivalists, cut it from one drive, and paste it into the Common folder over here. You should be doing this while Steam is closed. I forgot to mention that. I'll quickly head across to Steam, then Exit. Then I'll move the files, and once that's done, if you already have a Steam library set up, as in you're moving it to your local computer, you can skip the install process where it scans all of the local game files if we copy one extra file. I'll head back to the Steam Apps folder, and as you can see, there's a couple app manifest files here. And looking on my external hard drive here, from say, another computer, there's a bunch of these files as well. All we need to do is find the one that matches our game and copy it across from our external drive to our internal drive. And as soon as we fire up Steam, poof, like magic, it'll recognize our games installed. So in my case, I'm copying the survivalists from one drive to another. So I'll simply Google for it, click on the Steam link, and look at the very top. As you can see, store.steampower.com slash app, followed by a bunch of numbers. These are the numbers that we need to find. So it'll be app manifest, underscore, and in my case, 897450. So app manifest, 897450. I'll cut this from my external drive and paste it into my local drive here not in the common folder, in the Steam Apps folder. And now the next time I open up Steam, it'll recognize that the Survivalist is already installed and I can click play to fire it up. It's been moved from one drive to another. It doesn't even need to scan the local files. What about same Epic Games? To move games on Epic Games, the process is a lot more confusing. I have this game over here that I'd like to move. All I have to do is navigate across to where it is installed. For you, you'll most likely have to search your PC unless you know where the game is. In my case, I know it's an eGames Epic Games, and here it is, 20XX. All we need to do is simply rename this folder here if you're moving it to another drive, or if this is, for example, on an external hard drive from an old PC, you can leave it as is. Because I'm moving it from one drive to another, I'll rename it, head into Epic Games, and I'll ask Epic Games to uninstall this. Of course, you won't need to do this step if you're bringing it from another PC. There we go, now it says install. All we need to do now is choose install, because we already have the game files, we'll be choosing a different drive to put this on, in my case A, I'll copy this, and I'll navigate across to it as soon as I click install here. So start R, paste it in, hit enter, and a new folder opens up here. Inside of Epic Games, head to downloads, now I'll simply pause the download, and we'll hit the X button in the top right. Note that we're not exiting it completely, it'll still be in your task tray. Then, with this new destination folder here, I'll open up the old location here, which I've renamed, or of course is on another hard drive for you. I'll fix the name, and then I'll right-click Cut It. I'll head across to the new location where we're currently installing it to. I'll delete this folder here, and I'll simply replace it with the one from the other drive. I'll wait for it to copy from one drive to another. Now that we've moved it across from my other hard drive to the new install location here, I'll simply reopen Epic Games, and when it's done opening up, I'll head across to Library, locate the game, and it should say queued. Expanding my downloads, you can see it's currently queued. I'll cancel Fortnite here, 
and now it says verifying instead of downloading and it goes a lot faster, especially if it's a huge game and of course your internet is much slower than your hard drive speed. There we go, we can now launch up the game and it's successfully moved from one drive to another. That's for moving Steam and Epic Game games from one drive to another, but this video is sponsored by EasyOS. And I'll be talking about their tool that lets you move games, apps, pretty much anything on your computer from one drive to another really easily. In the description down below, you'll find a link to easeus.com and you'll see the PC Trans tool here. I'll click free download and open up the installer when it's done downloading. Then you can customize the install if you want and place this on a different drive. Otherwise, simply click through the install as you would anything else. When it's done, we'll see what we can do including these here, and I'll click start now. I'll wait for the program to open up, and when it is open, we'll see all of these here. Heading across to the app migration tab, don't worry, we're not moving all of the games from one drive to another. This is just an example, click start, and it'll take you into this menu here. We can see all of our hard drives here, as well as all of the games and programs installed on these, and all we need to do is locate a game we want to move. In my case, I'll head across to my A drive over here, and you can see this game here, say RimWorld. I'll simply select it to move it from one drive to another, then I'll choose the destination. In my case, I'll put this on, say, E drive instead of A drive. I'll then click Transfer here, and it'll start moving from one drive to another. You can monitor the progress at the top up here. There we go. It's now successfully moved from one drive to another. We can click here to open up the new folder, and we can see the game files here, E games common RimWorld. Awesome. I'll click OK and we'll need to restart our PC to ensure moving has finished properly. In the case of moving Steam games, you don't really need to do that. So I'll open up Steam here and searching for RimWorld. You can see it here. I can click on it, click play and the game will then launch up as per usual. There we go. That simple. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you to EasyUS for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.